Hey, welcome back. So today we're taking a look at Pete's. Pete's comes to us with a new video titled I'm Alive. And in this video, while it's uh, more or less of the same, he provides us with some information about uh, comics that he likes, about uh, shows and actors that he likes, etc, etc, etc. So why are we commenting on this particular video? Well, because we got a little bit of uh, juicy information. <laughs> so pretty much Pete breaks it down for us as to the reason for his move. Now he said it before and now he's saying it again that he is moving um, soon. We don't know when, but um, it looks like he is doing his best to find employment or as best as he can anyways, but staying in the city where he currently resides is not a good prospect for him. He is living in a bilingual city that by law requires you to address customers in French. Unfortunately, he is not bilingual. He only speaks English. So that really narrows his job prospects. So now he needs to move outside of the city to find employment. He's very clear that he is moving to wherever um, there is a job opportunity for him that does not require him to be bilingual. So we wish him well and wish him good luck on that journey. Nothing to do with her. I like living with her. She's my best friend. Um, but I need to go where I can work. I need to go where I, wherever I can find a job. Next, he discusses a bit uh, the living situation with his mom and the reason as to why he cannot move back in with her. So where she is residing, um, this living facility for the elderly does not permit for long-term stay. And that is why he cannot go back to living with his mom. Now, to what people have been waiting for. What does he have to say about Chantal? Well, he has to say a lot, actually. So he talks about their friendship. He lets us know that he is not being kicked out. Um, he's, it's not, he's not leaving because he cannot afford the luxury villa. As previously mentioned, he's relocating purely because of job opportunity uh, prospects. He also tells us that well, he answers the question. Someone in his chat asked him if Chantal uh, lies, and he lets us know, well, you know what, she, she elaborates a lot. Um, she can be delusional, and he lets us know that he does enjoy living with her. She is his best friend, and even though he does relocate, they will continue to text each other and remain in communication. He sets the record straight. He lets us know that, hey, if ever she needs him, to take BBJ and Sam off her hands. He's more than willing to help. He lets us know that he does not like Nadir and that he is not scared of Nadir and he cannot wait for this relationship between Nadir and Chantal to end. He is sick and tired of this new love interest of hers. He finds him to be incredibly uh, selfish, uh, controlling, and he just doesn't like him. And he doesn't care if Chantal hears about him spilling the quote unquote tea in this particular live stream. He doesn't care. Chantal is so bad at lying and bad at, so bad at keeping secrets that she spills all her own tea. <laughs> But the only tea I have is to say that her boyfriend is an asshole. Apparently he got annoyed at her for taking me to the uh, animal hospital. Like, he got annoyed at her for taking me to the animal hospital. He's just, he's clearly just a self-centered, controlling asshole. And he's probably going to hear that I said that. And I don't give a shit that he, hear, that he hears it. He deserves to hear that he's a self-centered, controlling asshole. And I genuinely, 
sincerely hope that she does break up with him soon. Careful for my safety. I'm not scared of him. He's using her. Yep. Yep, he is. And uh, I'm pretty sure Chantel's not, ha not, I'm pretty sure Chantel won't be happy uh, that I said all this shit about him. I honestly don't give a shit. <laughs> it needs to be said. Thank you, MG. He also lets us know that, hey, if ever it doesn't work out and he's moved away and that relationship between Chantal and Nadir is officially over, she's more than welcome to come and have a stay on his couch. Wow, Pete, you're a noble man. You truly are a noble man. Do I tell her how I feel? Yes. Chantel knows how I feel about the situation. Um, <laughs> and I've told her that, uh, thank you, Nikki. I, and I have told her that if she ever wises up and breaks up with him, uh, she can sleep on my couch. I mean, never mind that, you know, she's helping her best friend. Never, like, never mind that even. You should tell love Timbit too. Like. He is more than open to having his friend come back to stay and live with him if she needs it. And he can't wait for that relationship to be over and done with. I must say that people were very generous in his chat. Not that this is a bad thing at all. I mean, he's been offline uh, for a little amount of time in order to grieve and do whatever it is that he needed to do for himself. So we applaud him for taking time away from the YouTube. This is it. This is the wrap up. Not much more to say. Um, if you want the full video, please hop on over to his channel, Pete's of Mind, and have a look. It's titled the I'm Alive video. Once again, thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.